Ni, ni, dale va, dale va, dale va, dale va. into our final installation week. We had a bit of time last week together with the trainees and all the paintings had arrived and we'd pre and I and wrapped them, but we didn't want to plan anything or lay it out till they were here because we wanted them to make the decisions. Um, you need to put them together so that they flow. So when people are actually looking at it, they say, oh, this is lovely. But whereas if you had something like this put next to something more early times, they just they'd clash. We're talking about issues that are of concern in the contemporary arts world, if you like, for Indigenous artists. So the speakers include people from art centres working on really innovative projects, partnerships between government, private enterprise and artists, and uh, some of the kind of legal aspects of, that involve art making in Australia today. It's really important that art centres can come together and talk to each other about these things because they often feel that they're working in isolation um, and kind of not connected to anybody. So Revealed presents a really good opportunity for people to come together and, and talk about their concerns and aspirations as a collective. Buzzing. There is a whole lot of artists here from all over... WA and um, you know we're all just looking at each other's art and talking about it and sharing our experiences. These artists wouldn't necessarily have the opportunity back where they are in regional WA to have their work uh, displayed in this way in a mainstream art gallery with a team of other people working around how that artwork's put together and how it's displayed. I reckon it's all the Aboriginal art centres getting together to show each other what they're doing and show everybody else that Aboriginal arts is like a united movement, not just stuck in one little community and so that one group can show the other group what they're doing. I'm from Melbourne. We saw plenty of I just find this explosion of colour right here in the urban orchard. I don't know, it kind of reminds me one of the beautiful things about living in WA is just how big the state is and how different it is all over the place. And best people to show that are artists, I reckon. See it in their art. It's lovely. We've been here doing workshops, learning about how the different types of, there's weaving, there's um, photography, mixing paints, lino cutting and other things as well. The workshops that they run as a part of Revealed a really important way of getting people into having those discussions about their actual day-to-day -day worlds in art centres and also giving artists the opportunity to kind of learn new skills or to look at other ways that they might present their work. Uh, this is the nuts and bolts part of the whole project. It's where those important networks that people build at, at symposiums like this start their relationships and, and I think they're the things that go on to have a life beyond what happens over this couple of days and um, the things that can really help people feel like they have a network and people to call on and people to give advice to and, and I think that's probably the most important thing that comes from, from the Revealed initiative. <laughs>